Exoplanets are interesting for astronomers to detect and study. They search for exoplanets with hopes to find habitable ones with a comfortable climate. Exoplanets are planets that orbit around other stars. Some of them are scary and nightmarish in far corners of the galaxy, full of secrets and mysteries. Imagine an exoplanet with raging hurricanes, storms, thunder, and lightning. A planet with poisonous air and hostile radiation? No creature can survive there. To learn more, let us take a virtual trip to some of those scary places. The Scary Exoplanets Let's go to the planet that should not exist. Welcome to the planet of sinister space forces, the planet Poltergeist, or PSRB 1257 plus 12C. It is located about 2300 light years from the Sun in the Virgo constellation. It also has two neighboring planets. Over four times as massive as the Earth, Poltergeist circles the primary PSR 1257 plus 12 at a distance of 0.36 AU, with an orbital period of approximately 66 days. Poltergeist has a name for supernatural beings that create physical disturbances. In German, it means noisy ghost. It is indeed a strange planet beyond explanation. It should not exist, yet it is there. The thing is that the primary star of PSRB 1257 plus 12 is a pulsar. Pulsars are spherical, compact objects that are about the size of a large city, but contain more mass than the sun. They are formed by the collapse of giant stars and supernova explosions. As a result, everything in the star system is destroyed. It means no planets. But Poltergeist, against all odds, exists. It was one of the first planets ever discovered outside the solar system in 1992. Even its designation, PSRB 1257 plus 12C, is different and corresponds to the norms of those years. Curious astronomers began to look for an explanation and found a clue to solve Poltergeist's secret. It is quite simple. The exoplanet is not made of some mysterious matter. It is just a piece of space junk. After a supernova exploded, celestial bodies turned into space debris and formed planets of the second generation in the PSRB 1257 plus 12 system like Poltergeist. It worked as a giant vacuum cleaner for space junk. It is smaller than the Earth, but four times heavier. Astronomers theorize that the exoplanet has a rocky surface suitable for walking, but do not get too excited to go for a walk after a long space journey. It is dangerous. The pulsar emits deadly beams of electromagnetic radiation. It bombards the planet, which makes it unsuitable for life. Perhaps zombies could exist in that creepy corner of the galaxy. Later, scientists changed their verdict and voiced an alternative opinion. They claim that despite all disadvantages, PSRB 1257 plus 12C and PSRB 1257 plus 12D could be potentially habitable. It is possible if they have a thick and dense atmosphere to keep heat, radiation, and wind from the pulsar off. It would serve as an umbrella to protect the planet from deadly rays. Perhaps in such a case, there is even water on the surface. Who knows? Still, the radiation levels are much higher compared to the Earth and make it unsuitable for humans. But it is another story for simple protozoan organisms. Take, for example, the Deinococcus radioduran bacteria. Invisible to our eyes, the little organism can withstand radiation 500 times higher than humans. Perhaps it could survive on poltergeist. The same can be theorized about microscopic invertebrates, arthropods. Take, for example, water bears or tardigrata. They have amazing resistance to radiation. In 2007, they spent 10 days in an orbiting satellite 
without protection from direct solar radiation and a space temperature of minus 272 degrees Celsius, and 68% of the water bears survived. There is a good chance they could survive on the planet under a hostile pulsar. The exoplanet HD 80606b is in the Big Dipper constellation. It is 190 light years from Earth. If we were to land there, we would be caught in a hurricane much stronger than famous Jupiter storms. Severe storms are caused by the unique orbit of the exoplanet. HD 80606b is a gas giant like Jupiter, but four times bigger. It also has an elongated comet-like orbit. Its semi-major axis is 2.72 times the minor axis. A year on the planet lasts 111 Earth days. The maximum orbit distance to the star is 125 million kilometers, and the minimum is 4.5 million kilometers. It means that the planet comes 13 times closer to the star than Mercury to the Sun. If you could look above the gas clouds, you would have seen a star 30 times bigger than our Sun. Welcome to the real hell. The primary star, HD 80606, is a yellow dwarf like the Sun. It is a red-hot star with a temperature higher than 5,700 degrees Celsius. Even at the maximum distance, it heats the planet HD 80606b to 527 degrees Celsius. At its closest orbit, the temperature of the gas planet hits 1,227 degrees Celsius. With gravitational force, the primary star plays with the planet like with a stone in a sling. It takes six Earth hours for HD 80606 to cover this part of its elliptical orbit. Drastic temperature change and high rotation speed generate hurricanes that move from hot to cold hemispheres. Moreover, the HD 80606 rotation twists the winds into giant tornadoes. Wind speeds exceed 4 kilometers per second. For comparison, the speed of sound under normal conditions is 0.3 kilometers per second. On Jupiter, the wind speed does not exceed 0.5 kilometers per second. The only chance to survive on the planet is to use a heat-resistant spacesuit, but it would not hold in a storm. You would be blown into space like a grain of sand. There are models that show that gusts of 54 meters per second knock a man off his feet. When the exoplanet moves further from its star, the winds decrease and the temperature drops. Nevertheless, it remains one of the hottest exoplanets in the universe. Let us move on. Our next stop is the planet Kepler 10b in the Dragon constellation. The planet orbits 564 light years from Earth, around the 12 billion year old yellow dwarf Kepler 10. Its mass is 0.89 solar. Its luminosity is similar to the Sun. The radius of the planet Kepler 10b is 1.4 times that of Earth. However, it is 4.6 times heavier than the Earth. Scientists believe that Kepler 10b is the inner part of a dead gas giant. Basically, it is a charred iron core. Well, it can be described as a dumbbell, most likely made entirely of metal. It is very dangerous for space travelers. If you ever flew there, prepare for scary surprises. First, its freefall acceleration would feel very uncomfortable because it is twice that of Earth. Even astronauts are not trained for it. But let's imagine there is a special spacesuit, and we managed to land on the surface of the planet. Here comes an unbelievable heat. Kepler-10 is 20 times closer to its primary than Mercury is to the Sun. It circles the dwarf star in just 20 hours. It is very close, believe me. It makes the exoplanet one of the most nightmarish places. The force of the star, that is, the effect of its gravity on the planet, is super strong. 
the dwarf holds Kepler 10b with one side toward itself. That part can be heated over 1500 degrees Celsius. All metals on the planet are liquid. Imagine that one side of Kepler 10b is a hot ocean of liquid iron, while the opposite side is cold rocks. That is not all. You should get ready for more surprises from the sinister Kepler 10b. For example, there are chemical acid clouds and billions of lightning bolts. Gravity, high temperature, and iron are dangerous to mix up. Up to a billion flashes light the sky on the planet every second. Unimaginable and scary. The highest registered number of lightning flashes on Earth is 50 per second. There is a hypothesis that intense lightning activity is caused by active volcanoes on Kepler 10b. They make the atmosphere electric. British scientists modeled several scenarios for the exoplanet based on the data obtained during the eruptions of the volcanoes Redut in Alaska in 2009 and Aja Fjallajökull in Iceland in 2010. They suggest that more active volcanoes on Kepler 10b generate more lightning bolts. If you were there, you could observe up to 2 trillion flashes in two hours. If volcanic activity decreases, then the number of lightning flashes drops down as well. Scientists hope to confirm their theories by capturing the huge thunderstorm activity on Kepler 10b. It requires additional transit observations. If the lightning flashes are strong enough, we could see them by the James Webb Next Generation Orbiting Telescope. You have learned so much about exoplanets. What do you think? Would you like to travel there? Do you want to learn more about stars, planets, pulsars? Write to us in the comments. Press like if you like the video. If you want to be updated on new videos, subscribe to our channel. More videos about the universe, stars, and planets are coming soon. Prepare for more interesting stories about mysteries of the universe.